One of the most common things people like to do with their website is use it as a place to visually show off a catalog of products that they're either selling or they make. One of the best ways to do this is to use the gallery app in Web Starts. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gallery to show off your products using Web Starts. I've logged in to my Web Starts account, and if you haven't already done so, go to webstarts.com and sign up for a free account. Web Starts is everything you need to create your very own free online website. And once you've done that and you're logged in like I am, click on Edit Site. That will load the Web Starts page editor where you can make edits and changes to the page of your website. And for this example, we're going to click on File, New Page, and we're going to create a page from a blank that's called Gallery. Once you've typed in the name of the page in the field provided, click Create Page, and then that creates a page on my website called Gallery. Do notice that when you add a page to your website in Web Starts, it's automatically added to your menu like so. So there you can see in this drop down, the gallery page I just created is able to be navigated to from my navigation menu. I clicked the plus down here to create a little bit more space so that we can work with, but let me jump right in and show you how to add a gallery to your page. Click on add and then click gallery. This modal will pop up and from here, you'll be able to click on the Add Images button and then choose images that you've previously uploaded to your file manager, upload images from your local computer, or you can even search for images using our image search library, as well as your Facebook account and your webcam. Clicking on the My Images option, I can see images of these frames that I would like to show off on my website. So what I'm going to do is select each one of those images. Those are my product images. And when I'm ready to add them to my gallery, I click insert file. Those are then added to my gallery. And if I want to rearrange the products in my gallery, I can just do that uh, by dragging and dropping these different products into a different position in the gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and arrange those like so. Also notice that if you want to delete any one of these images from a gallery, you just click on this trash can icon. If you want to edit some of the visual properties of one of these images, you can click on this magic wand tool and it opens up the photo editor. From here, you can do all kinds of things like change the saturation, contrast, brightness. You can add focal points, so on and so forth. You can see more on how to do that in a different Web Starts video. Also notice a little pencil icon. When you click on that, it'll give you the opportunity to add a title and description for each one of the products that you're showcasing. So in this example, I might call this the white aged picture frame. And then in my description, I can say, you know, this picture frame is made out of real wood. When you're ready, you just click OK. And then that title and description is associated with that particular image. You can go through and do that with all of your images, or you can just leave them blank. When you're ready to add that photo gallery to your page, click Insert and then the photo gallery is added to your page. You can then drag and drop that photo gallery or resize that photo gallery by using the handles. There are some more formatting and setting options that I want to show you, but before I do that, I'm just going to show you how you can make that photo gallery full width as well and adjust the height. So for example, if I wanted my photo gallery to take up all of the available screen space, in a browser window, then I would choose that full height option. And if I want it just to go to the guidelines, I can click that again and it will snap back to the guidelines. Now, I don't like how you can't see all of the picture frames in each one of these image windows. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on this settings cog and I'm going to choose my image scaling from crop to center. So center will just make the entire image centered in the middle of each one of these panels. 
Here you might notice too you can change the number of columns on your page. So if I wanted to do a two column layout, I would choose two, three column layout, I would choose three. If I wanted to have four, I could do four. For this demo, I'm just gonna leave it on three. So now I have my gallery images centered in each panel, but they still don't look good because you have this kind of black dead space. A lot of this has to do with the fact that all of my images are not formatted in the same dimension. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is click on the gallery itself, and then I'm going to click on the color fill option, and then I'm going to choose the thumbnail background and change it to white. So you can see right away that that creates a lot more white space instead of having those black strips. Once I click on the gallery again, I can click on the choose effect paintbrush and then click choose style. And then I can choose from different available styles. And if you have a paid account, you'll have access to do things like change the thickness of the border and the style or the uh, shadow properties and things like that. I don't have that for this account. So what I'm going to do to remove that thin black border around each panel is I'm just going to click on thumbnail border color and choose none. So there you can see that now I don't have any border between each one of my uh, frames. I'm going to save my changes and then we're going to view what that looks like on the live website by clicking on the view site button. And you'll see that when you click on a particular image it will launch it in its own light box and then here you can see the title that we added and also the description and then it says it's one of six and your site visitors can use these arrows to scroll through the various images so if you're selling for example artwork or you're selling something that you made at home maybe it's jewelry or another craft or maybe you have something like I've built websites for people who are selling things like storage sheds and the like and you just want people to see some of your work a photo gallery is a great way to show off those products it doesn't include any way to make a purchase but you can always add that ability by using the store app that comes built into web starts so if you want to actually do an online transaction and take payment online I would recommend the store app but if you're looking to just show off some of the work that you've created then the photo gallery app is more than adequate I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and see more helpful videos to do different web design things like this